what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video but before we hop into this reaction this video was sponsored by gld so the holiday season is right upon us and i know you guys are looking for a good gift to give to your loved ones man i think the perfect gift you could possibly get them is something from the gld shop gld was founded on the idea that everyone should be able to afford high quality jewelry pieces that deliver confidence and help complete your look gld was made with real gold that's built to last their manufacturing process and attention to detail is the best in the game that's why they offer a lifetime guarantee on all purchases if there's any issues with your jewelry gld has got you covered so y'all know i'm a texans fan through and through that's why i got me the rope chain with the texans pendant i honestly like it i i love the way it, it completes my look a lot of times even if i don't feel like the team is doing real well right now i still feel confident when i'm wearing it out and about and i've had people ask me where did i get the chain from and i let them know i got it from gld and you can also do the same for your loved ones this christmas holiday season man and it doesn't have to be uh, a football team they also have basketball pendants as well they also have baseball pendants as well so you can rock whatever team you want and show your support while looking fashionable while doing that and i, I think that's a plus you can't beat that and once again that i think that's an ultimate gift to give someone to let them know how much you care about them so I want you guys to get up on these offers, man, but you gotta do it as soon as possible. Make sure you get your GLD order in for your friends and family before December 21st to ensure delivery by Christmas. Cause you know a lot of people are gonna be trying to do the same thing, man. You don't wanna have to wait till after Christmas to give them that special chain and or pendant, man. So make sure you hop on that as soon as possible. So I don't know what you guys are waiting for, man. GLD makes the perfect holiday gifts for yourself or a loved one. Get them their favorite chain or pendant today to complete your look and to get 33% off holiday gifts Click my link in the description box. Remember to order before 1221 to ensure delivery by Christmas. Support the channel by adding my show code in the GLD post-purchase survey, man. Once again, I want to give a special thanks to GLD for sponsoring this video, man. And make sure you guys go hit them up as soon as possible. Make sure you get that order in before December 21st. That way you can get uh, that special person, that special someone you care for for Christmas. They can get the gift before Christmas itself, man. But I appreciate you guys, man. Let's get right back into the reaction. All right, so we're gonna check out 10 iconic wrestling entrance quirks. Now, I know I did a vehicle, uh -huh. All right, so we're gonna check out 10 iconic wrestling entrance quirks. So I know I did a video, um, I, I wanna say earlier this week on uh, 10 more iconic wrestling entrance quirks. I kind of did it out of order. Um, I actually ended up getting sent the uh, the other video first. I didn't know um, there was a uh, uh, original video to the 10 iconic wrestling entrance quirks. So we're kind of doing it out of order. This is a, a video that was previously recorded like a month ago. And then the other one was recorded like a few weeks ago on the Wrestling Flashback channel. So definitely go check him out. He has a lot of great videos. Definitely go give him a, a subscription. I know I've been subscribed for quite some time. So this is not the same video, y'all. For those who are thinking, didn't we already check this out? This is the original one. We just ended up checking out part two before we checked out part one. You know how that goes. But we're going to get right into this one, man. Let's do the damn thing, man. One, two. Is this on? on? A wrestler's entrance is their chance to make a first impression. The best entrances are ones that fit the person's character while at the same time being able to stand out and be different. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Kennedy, that was, he had a good entrance too. Kennedy! Today, we're going to highlight specific things wrestlers did to make their entrance unique as we look at 10 iconic entrance quirks. Number one, John Cena talking, talking to, to the, the camera. camera. Yeah. still hot. A staple of Cena's <laughs> entrance is his interaction with the camera. It wouldn't be WrestleMania without Cena! It wouldn't be WrestleMania without you! A wrestler talking directly into the camera is a trope that the WWE hasn't frequently used over the years. So mm -hmm. Cena doing this made his entrance something What the hell was that, John? <laughs> It also Double made fans was listening that? intrigued to hear what John had to say, whether he was talking to the cameraman, acknowledging the crowd, New York's favorite son. They love me here. It's 
<laughs> which is getting himself hyped up for a match. Number two, D'Lo Brown's head shaking. Oh my God. I D'Lo Brown had the one of the best entrances of all time, bro. It's the How many of y'all did that? Just walking around the crib, walking anywhere, you just start hitting the, the D Lo Brown, bro. Oh my God, bro. His head shake down the ramp is some of the best thing. Going like this is the best thing in wrestling, bro. There will never be no one that has the D Lo Brown head shake when you I love it, bro. Oh my god. D Lo had one of the most recognizable entrance taunts as he strutted down the ramp, shaking his head back and forth. D Lo was inspired to do the head shake after watching Chris Tucker in the 1995 movie Friday. Rocky tosses Ken to the floor. Oh, I slide right up there. You got knocked the f out. And you got knocked the f out. <laughs> Vince goes, D-Lo, you know that uh, thing you're doing with your head. Keep doing it. Brown yep. modeled his walk after NFL <laughs> defensive end Merton <laughs> Hanks touchdown celebration. <laughs> Merton Hanks. He intercepted a ball. Yep. And he was going for the touchdown. He would yep. do a strut like this as he was going into the end zone. D-Lo then combined the head shake and the strut to give us one of wrestling's most <laughs> iconic songs. I love it. <laughs> Number three, bit, Batista's machine gun pyro. Yeah, this is a good one too. How many of y'all used to hit that too, man? Just hit the... <laughs> Come on, man, be honest. This is a safe place, man. The crowd was on their feet anytime Batista made his entrance into the mm -hmm. Ruthless Aggression era. His entrance was pretty dope, bro. Big his Dave always got a massive pop as his awesome music echoed throughout the arena. The fans would then join in as the animal did his <laughs> machine guns taunt while the pyro went off behind him. Yeah, bro, that shit is so cool. The way the pyro synced up with his theme music made it extra special. Sad. Oh, and his music was good too. Oh, man. Number four, Jeff Hardy. Oh, yeah, band. the Jeff Hardy Jeff thrust. Hardy! <laughs> with the lights, I know y'all hit pyro this. and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's entrance always captivated the audiences. <laughs> the dance evolved over time to the point where it's now become <laughs> so iconic. And he's high stepping. <laughs> it's Jeff Hardy. Jeff even had to stop and do the dance during his AEW debut before making the save for his brother Matt. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Bro, I, I want y'all to understand. The nigga had enough time to hit the thrust to save before he saved his brother, dog. <laughs> the dance is easily imitated. The great one. <laughs> oh, look at this dance. But never duplicated. And the intercontinental champion, <laughs> Jeff Hardy. Number five, the boogeyman smashes a clock. Oh, oh yeah, God. this was creepy. The Boogeyman is one of the creepiest WWE yeah. gimmicks we've ever seen. His entrance was particularly creepy as he crawled through the red smoke, wearing a heart as a necklace and smashing a glass clock over his head. It, Super it got creepy. even stranger once Boogeyman entered yeah. the ring when he Blech. chowed down on live worms. Blech. This even creeped out the big red machine came. <laughs> he got worm juice pouring out the side of his lipstick, uh, lip stuff, man. Oh. Boogeyman's entrance certainly set the tone for what was to come as he stared down the opponent with shards yeah. of broken glass piercing from his head. And whether you found it creepy or funny, it certainly made you take notice. <laughs> I'm the Boogeyman and I'm coming to get you. Number six, Goldberg Creepy. headbutts a door. Mm -hmm. The boogeyman made sure to gimmick the glass he used, but the same couldn't be said for Goldberg when he legitimately mm -hmm. injured his arm, smashing open the window of a limo in That's WCW. Wild, in fact, bro. Goldberg punished himself for real almost every time he made his entrance. He mm -hmm. headbutts a locker room backstage. This goes back to his days mm -hmm. as a football player. I've been destroying steel doors for years. Goldberg would headbutt a door as a pre-match mm -hmm. ritual in order to get himself in the zone before going out in front of the fans. I had already headbutted something. I got blood working. I've got to be that apex ass kicking person. <laughs> Bro, Goldberg, like WCW run, fucking 
dude literally just busted open a window with his forearm, bro. What are we talking about, bro? Look at that. This has busted him open numerous mm -hmm. times. There's the red badge of honor right there. And it's led to him forgetting his lines during a promo. To the WWE. Yep. Yep. When I saw the blood, I was like, damn, he he's still hitting button them damn doors, bro. <laughs> you gotta can't be doing that when you get older, bro. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, Let's he... go for try, uh, the third time. The ritual also played a part in Goldberg getting a concussion during his match with The Undertaker at Super Showdown 2019. Mm -hmm. Here comes Goldberg. Oh, Nobody wow. posted. And The Undertaker. No yeah. way. Oh Number seven, the Sandman's beer bash. In a similar fashion to Goldberg, the Sandman would also bust himself open during his entrance. That's wild. Busting bro. his own head open before the matchup. The five time ECW champion would smash a beer can off his head as the fans sang along to his theme music. ECW was a different place, bro. As the extreme icon came through the crowd with a beer in one oh hand and God. a single cane in the other, Sandman's entrance told you everything you needed to yeah. know about his character. Eventually, the bell did have to ring, but Sandman's entrance was so entertaining, the match was pretty much secondary. They believe because he believes. <laughs> oh my god. Number eight, La Parker's steel chair dance. Just like Sandman, La Parker came to the ring wielding a weapon. Oh my what? A steel chair was the object of choice for the chairman. Wow. He danced his way down the aisle using the chair as a guitar. There it is, steel chair in tow. The luchador would even sometimes stop for a picture when Sonny Ono was his manager. Sonny Ono, who has recently made a deal with La Parker. La Parker was easily one of the WCW's <laughs> most entertaining mass wrestlers. And this was in no small part down to his wacky entrance. La Parker has of course, arrived. the chair. The chairman of WCW. Number nine, John Morrison's slow motion pose. Morrison is no stranger to making an impactful entrance. Now the slow mo is pretty cool. Morrison. The paparazzi would snap photos of him coming down the ramp when he was part of Eminem. Then mm -hmm. once Morrison became a singles wrestler, he would add another twist to his entrance by posing in slow motion. This was very unique and fit Morrison's shaman of sexy character perfectly. Nah, it, it, was, it was pretty dope. <laughs> I am falling down a ramp Number in 10, slow mo. The Godfather oh, forgets boy. the hose. The Godfather epitomized the WWF's era. <laughs> and as much as the fans loved him, the character was nothing without his hose. And even though his music would always get a big pop. That's the way he says it. Oh, the guys. When they... the Godfather made his entrance alone, <laughs> it would generate. The guys definitely. Uh, <laughs> boy, they used to love this entrance. <laughs> Booze from the audience as it was clear something was missing. Yeah, they you know what they there for. The Godfather would quickly realize this. He'd then signal for the host to arrive, and all would be right. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this was a real thing, y'all. <laughs> I want you to understand. People were booing because they wanted to see the hose. Because <laughs> here come the chairs. The ladies are in the house. One of the greatest entrances of all time. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video. Oh, this was dope. This was dope, man. Like I said, we've seen part two already. If you haven't, go check it out. It's on the channel. Um, and once again, subscribe to Wrestling Flashback. Videos are fantastic, man. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> the host, man. One of the greatest entrances of all time, man. But uh, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel, man. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.